Hello, thank you for signing up for my wait list and your interest in my one-on-one -on -one transformational program. I am Dr. Libby Wilson. I am an IFM certified practitioner through the Institute of Functional Medicine and certified through the American Board of Family Medicine. I specialize in helping health conscious people who are trying their best to take care of themselves, but despite their best efforts, aren't seeing the results they're hoping for. I also specialize in helping people find answers to problems that aren't being solved by the conventional approach. While I only take on new patients quarterly, there are quite a few steps you can take in preparation for the one-on-one -on -one program to set you up for long-term success. Over the next couple of days, you'll receive a series of videos from me that will explain how the body breaks down in a predictable fashion, how I attempt to find out what's happening in the body, and how I work with patients to fix it. In this series, we'll discuss why, why functional medicine, what, what I do as part of my signature program, how, how we work together, who, who's a candidate, when, where, and how much. My almost 20 years in family medicine taught me so much, but you know what it didn't teach me? It didn't teach me how to help people who weren't yet sick, but struggling with symptoms like fatigue, hormonal imbalances, and a sluggish metabolism. Patients who intuitively knew something just wasn't right, but have been told by countless doctors that they are fine. I was one of those patients too. So now I have a practice where I find those answers and help patients like myself find out what's going on in their body, and together we fix it. Functional medicine is so very different from conventional medicine. Functional medicine asks why. Why is your body responding the way it is and how can we fix it? Notice I didn't say just treat the symptoms, but get to the root cause of your situation and truly fix it. Conventional medicine is good at sick care, but in my opinion, not so great at health care. Oftentimes it's covering up symptoms with band-aids, and when that doesn't work, bigger band-aids are recommended. And if that doesn't work, well, patients are told that they are fine and nothing is actually wrong. Conventional medicine focuses on the what is going on instead of the bigger question of why. Also, there's little focus on lifestyle, which is truly the key to optimal health. Functional medicine looks beyond the standard lab markers. For example, many of my patients have fairly normal labs from their annual physical exam with their primary care doctor. Oftentimes they feel okay, but not great. You see, it's my belief that there is sickness, normal, and optimal wellness. Conventional medicine strives to get people to normal where they're okay. I wasn't okay with just okay, and most of my patients aren't either. So I strive to get people to optimal wellness. That is where they can thrive, not just survive. Optimal wellness is also a hedge of protection against sickness because you have to digress to normal before you can begin the path to sickness. I truly wanna live my best life and I love partnering with patients who wish to do so too. There are no quick fixes, but there are solutions that can lead to amazing results when implemented and tweaked and given time to work. My goal for my patients is to feel great and feel confident that they are proactively doing things to protect themselves from future disease. I accept a small number of patients each quarter and walk them through a 10-month program. Here's what I know. The body breaks down in a predictable manner and it all starts with stress, chronic stress. Sometimes the stress is obvious and other times it's more subtle. When we think about stress, naturally we think about emotional stress, but stress is also coming from our diet and hidden infections in our gut. More on this later. Our bodies weren't designed for all this chronic stress. And what happens after that? Adrenal fatigue develops. Do you wanna know something? I'd never heard of adrenal fatigue in medical school. And some people will tell you it doesn't exist. I know it exists because I had it and I fixed it in myself and so many others. And the symptoms that patients present with are symptoms I didn't have an answer for in my conventional medical practice for all those years. And now I do. My former approach was to check the thyroid in some basic labs, and if it was normal, try something like Prozac. To be more accurate, adrenal fatigue is more appropriately called HPA axis dysfunction, but I think the term adrenal fatigue is easier to understand. Bottom line, we've asked too much of our adrenals for too long and they are worn out. With chronic stress, the body begins to shunt precursors away from sex hormone production to cortisol production. You see, your body would rather survive than reproduce. Makes sense, right? 
the resulting hormone imbalance creates irritability, moodiness, low libido, and a kind of apathetic, depressed attitude. Additionally, immune cell production is suppressed, resulting in frequent infections, like sinus infections and urinary tract infections. Your body literally thinks it's in danger. So to protect you, it begins storing fat, just in case you're starving. This fat becomes really hard to lose and makes attempts at weight loss very hard, seemingly impossible. With time, the body can't even keep up with the cortisol production, which leads to a bone-crushing fatigue. So how does someone feel with adrenal fatigue? Irritable, moody, low libido, blah, easily susceptible to infection, difficulty losing weight, tired. Often they are just pushing through life, thinking this is the way that they are supposed to feel, and it's normal. They're getting things done that need to be done, but don't have much left over to do the things that they want to do. Fixing adrenal fatigue helps people feel so much better, and it establishes a strong foundation of health to work on other things, because guess what? The resulting adrenal fatigue leads to gut issues, which I'll discuss more in my next video.